Gentlemen, you're involved in some community garden work. Can you elaborate on what that is? It's Tunnel and... It's a Tunnel Top Park. Tunnel Top Park. Can yeah. you tell us more about your endeavors and what you do for this organization? Sure. Well, it's, um, well first of all, it's so named because it sits on top of a uh, Caltrain tunnel. Um, mm -hmm. And it's uh, actually leased, I believe, for $1 from Caltrain because it is yes, private they're, property. They're fantastic at working with the community. It's uh, run completely on uh, donations and uh, grants by volunteers, um, and it's been a passion project uh, for both of us ever since we met, basically. Because shortly after I met Angel, um, he ran into uh, one of the neighbors in the neighborhood, and I'll let you right. tell the story, because you were there. Tell us the story, Angel. <laughs> All right, well, we were just coming back from uh, working on uh, big art that we were going to go and take to Burning Man, as a matter of fact. We were coming back to my place and a whole bunch of group, uh, a group of friends all started going into my building. And then uh, on the far, uh, uh, down the street, I saw this lady collecting signatures. And I'm like, hurry up, everybody, hurry up. I don't want to sign anything, so hurry up. <laughs> so everybody went in, except for my friend that was parking the car. And then everybody was inside when he yells at me, hey, Angel, there's a neighbor here that wants to talk to you. And sure enough, it was a, a neighbor that was trying to collect signatures so that we could form a neighborhood association so that we could apply for the California Carbon Fund Grant. And it, after that, we were able to actually apply for the lease of the property. But what happened is that it was a neglected property in the city. This, was in, this is in the dog patch, so it's mm -hmm. all industrial area. And it, literally, it was just a uh, dumping ground with broken concrete, broken glass, uh, animal waste, and a lot of debris. Mm -hmm. So after a lot of hard work and a lot of volunteer hours, we were able to turn that into a native garden, na native wildflower garden. And right now, we have a really healthy population of lizards, snakes, uh, migratory birds doves it's quite beautiful that's amazing what a great what a great organization to put your efforts towards yeah and beautifying san francisco you should come and visit i'd it's, like to you're actually throwing a roller disco events on friday nights oh how fun so that a lot of people can come in and practice with their uh skateboards or whatever <laughs> and enjoy the beauty of, of the gardens you created exactly that's fantastic mm -hmm.